How's it going everybody? Lance Cure here and we are going to play Farpoint. It's finally out and I am anticipated to try out this first person shooter VR experience on the PlayStation console compared to the other PC first person shooters that has been out. So I do have the aim controller and it's actually comfortable for something so basic which is very surprising and um, I can't really say too much about it but I guess once I get in we'll see how I feel once I get into it. So let's jump in and let's do a whole playthrough of this. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is pretty good. All right, let's do story. Oh. Planet Earth. I'm Eva Tyson, one of the 230 scientists and engineers stationed up here on the Pilgrim. Regular viewers of this live feed will notice I am not in my traditional t-shirt and socks. I am in a spacesuit, and that is because today I am going home. And joining me on that homeward flight is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. Hi. It's actually pretty incredible because we've both been aboard the Pilgrim for three months. But because there are so many people up here studying the anomaly, this is actually the first time that Dr. Tyson and I have met. So, hello, Dr. Tyson. Oh, hello, Dr. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it goes without saying. I'm a specialist in a branch that applies the laws of physics and chemistry to analyze the genesis and demise of various nebulae in the universe. Observable objects, atomic particles, all the way up. Pretty much anything on the candela and thermodynamic temperature scales. It includes aspects of astronomy and cosmology as well, but it's actually more complex than that, so... He's a star expert. <laughs> yeah, you know, using that would save a lot of space on my resume. <laughs> it really would. And for those of you who are new to this, our ship is here to analyze a very special wave of radiation. We're all here just for that. Now, the universe is full of solar radiation, but what makes this radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Masses of energy pouring into the universe from nowhere. So you can see why we're all so fascinated by it. Limitless energy, forever. Now, if we look out the window, you should be able to see the shuttle that's coming to pick us up. The Wanderer, named after the poem. Wanderer returns. And if we link to the pilot's POV camera, you'll get a good view of the entire station, as well as the radiation anomaly behind us. And if we're lucky, we should just be able to see the Big Dipper off to the side, too. Here we go. All right, let's see what we're going through. Wanderer, this is Pilgrim. We're ready for you in the airlock. Please activate your auto-docking sequence. Uh, okay. Oh! Wow, Roger that, Pilgrim. This is Wanderer. Auto-docking sequence engaged. Thank you, Wanderer. You're looking good. Hmm. So I got a voice. And I got a shadow. Uh, Wanderer, we're having some difficulty syncing with your docking gear. Your guidance system will take care of your side, but I think we're gonna need a second over here. Roger that, Pilgrim. Waiting on you. That's it. Keep it coming. Wait, wait. I think it's still not working. We're gonna try a manual reboot. Stand by. Still nothing. Command 
Command, any different on your end? This is Command. Now we got the same reading here. No sync. We need an engineer to go out and fix the docking mechanism. No, no, it's not a big deal. Wanderer, we're in our EMU suits. We can just open the airlock manually and boost over to you. Dr. Tyson, I'd rather do this by the book. This is by the book. Look, we tether to the Pilgrim, boost over to the shuttle, reattach there, release the first tether. It's a simple walk. If we wait to schedule an engineer, we'll be stranded here another week, and the Wanderer will be stuck waiting out there. Are you married? That is not a useful question here. Well, there are people I want to get home to. So... Man, does this sit right with you? Tethered walk is okay with us, Dr. Moon. Your call. Okay. Wanderer, please maintain your position and prepare for manual boarding. I guess we're taking a walk. Roger, holding position. Okay. I'm opening the outer hatch. Tethers are attached. Dr. Moon? Yeah, but for all the playground teasing, look where I am right now. God. <laughs> look at it. 60 yards out. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell is that? Cover, this is Eva. Are you seeing this? Cass, location report now. Location unknown. Analyzing atmospheric composition. 23% nitrogen, 2% oxygen, 12% helium. Warning, 63% unknown elements. Pilgrim, this is Wander. Come back. I say again, this is Wander Actual. Pilgrim, do you copy? Commencing audio 
Assault Rifle. The UEP Assault Rifle is the standard issue rifle for UEP personnel. It provides a high rate of fire and unlimited ammo but can overheat. Keep an eye on the integrated heat gauge. Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, this is Wanderer. Do you copy? Alive. Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, stay where you are. I'll find you.
Hello? Is someone there? Cass, log this. Locate and scan all fragments. This place is incredible. <laughs> you realize that G here is not a constant. You can actually feel the gravitational variances. They must be swaying from eight or nine to like... Six. Watch your suit on those rocks. We don't know what kind of pathogens might exist here. We can't afford a breach. You know, I bet this place isn't even on the star charts. Come on. We have to keep moving. fragments.
How far? Hard to be sure. Maybe we should stay put. Hey, no, look at me. We have enough emergency rations to get us anywhere the Pilgrim is. We are not staying here. Survivors keep moving, okay? Okay. Let's do it. Yes. Make sure you log all this. Recording. controller over the ammo to pick it up guided rocket the uep assault rifle has an integrated guided rocket launcher use the targeting laser to guide the rockets to the designated target the uep assault rifle can hold a total of five guided rockets press the highlighted button to fire the secondary weapon I must say, so far, I'm actually intrigued. The movement and everything is actually, uh, not bad. 
I mean, I'm not too motion sickness, and it looks like I can't get up there. But the aiming and everything, you literally have to look through the scope itself, which that's basically their main source. And I like that. I mean, you could do it without it, like, you know, to the hip shots and all that stuff. But no, it's really not bad. I really enjoy it so far. data recovery complete. New holographic files are available to view. Playback. All recovered files. Is it the Pilgrim? No. No, but it's a piece of it. Must have broken off from the main station on entry. I guess we found our power source. Hello? Anyone inside? Come on. Battery packs. We strip off the casings. We can use these to boost our signal. You prep them. I'll patch into the comms unit. Well, yours, Dr. Nunn. Hey, something weird here. What? These batteries, they're all at 1% power. That's plenty. 1% is enough for six months. Yeah, but why are they all depleted? Hello? Sounds like interference. All right. There's probably a shit ton of EMR out here. So how do we contact anyone? We keep trying. Survivors keep moving. Pilgrim. Pilgrim, this is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. Pilgrim, if you can read us, we don't know our location. We're down to our last emergency rations, but we found a HAB unit. There are extra rations here to keep us going. We're alive. Are you? Please come back. Eva. I need to take a break. I've been going for hours. Here. It's the last one from my suit. Some kind of strawberry goo. Sorry. Oh. Thought this track was closed. It's all right. Well, that's it. When the Pilgrim broke up on entry, it left a trail of debris just like this, right? We found one piece because we're sitting in it. But if we can find the next few pieces, we can calculate the speed and trajectory of the station. We can figure out where the Pilgrim crashed.
Are you sure about this? Not very, but it's all we got. I'm gonna follow the trail of debris. You keep trying the radio. I'll make sure you keep the stand off. Are we expecting company? Okay, Eva. I'm right behind you. Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, I'm following the trail of debris. Yes. Suit status. Suit integrity is stable. Alert. To assist holographic file recovery, please locate and scan all fragments. Shotgun. The UEP tactical shotgun provides maximum stopping power at close range. It features semi-automatic fire with a 7-round capacity and an integrated grenade launcher.
how much bigger do these things get? Launcher. The UEP tactical shotgun has an integrated grenade launcher. The high explosive grenades explode three seconds after being fired or instantly if they hit an enemy. The UEP tactical shotgun can hold a total of 10 grenades. First death in this game, my gosh. Ugh. I thought that was a little, ugh. All right, anyway, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. First death, right? So there's the camera, it's still there in sync. All right, oh yeah, it, it shows if um, if my aimer goes off the camera, but I don't know, it's still good. All right, let's keep going. I 
I'm, I'm gonna go left this time. Environment temperature Let's go left. Cooling system engaged. and scan all the See more debris from the pilgrim down here. Must be on the right track. Roger that. Hey, isn't it weird that this stuff ended up all the way down here? Wanna lay a sign? It's not like anyone had time to put it there. Like, crash debris ends up in weird places, that's what it does. Never underestimate a whole lot of kinetic force and a little chaos theory, right? <laughs> Stay focused here. I'm moving out.
That's another piece of the Pilgrim. Alert. Movement detected. Multiple sources, multiple directions. Oh man, I did it again. Ugh, second death. Not bad, not bad. Alright, come on. I can do this.
got something here. get it. It's definitely one of the Pilgrim's boosters. So what happened to the rest of the station? All speed and trajectory evidence say it should be right here. What happened to it? I got a theory. What if it just skimmed here, like a stone? That would put the final crash site another, well, maybe 15, 16 clicks away? Hmm. I'll crunch the numbers. Can you stretch your rations that far? Yeah, I'm good. I purged the hab, by the way. Pressure's holding. It's actually pretty comfortable in there. Okay. But we're not staying. So. Grant. Grant, I have a little emergency here. What is it? I think I may be going insane with boredom. You do know we're in the middle of the most fascinating scientific opportunity in human history. Yeah, I know. But I still wish they would put an FM station in these helmets. I need some drive time. <laughs> well, the only station you get out here is me. My singing voice? Let's just say most people would choose boredom over torture. <laughs> you know I have to make the signal, right? I warn you, I only know the lyrics to Delamitri's song. Delamitri? Well, that shot's fired because I happen to love Delamitri. No, you don't. I do. No one loves Delamitri. I do. I do. And no one in the entire universe knows that except for you. I don't know. Seems like husband knowledge, right? Look up at the stars, will you? It's incredible. No one in human history has seen the universe from this position before. Isn't that crazy? Pretty crazy. You know, we could just bed in and set up an outpost here. How do the rations look? Actually, there seem to be a lot of rotten packs. And I mean a lot. 90% maybe. Was the Pilgrim do a resupply? I don't know. They're rotten? Yeah, but the honeys are all fine, so we should be fine. Okay. Now, how about, um, you just quickly sing me all of Delamitri's greatest hits? <laughs> oh, you're in it now, my friend. <gasps> Look around your world, pretty <laughs> baby, is it ever? Use it to boost my signal. Let's see if we can reach him that way. Dr. Tyson, Dr. Moon, I found your comms relay. Do you copy now? Damn it.
and scan all fragments.
Oh, shit. This can't be good. Dang, that's multitasking. Ugh. And I thought I had everything going. Alright, no worries. I, I can I can make up for that. Hmm. All I can say is this game is actually awesome. I mean 
so far, storyline's actually intriguing, because you just want to keep going to see how it ends. And then the fact that these, like, repetitive waves of, like, spiders coming at you is, like, also not bad. But the fact of using the aim controller with this game is what is th it's the selling point. Because this can go places where we can finally have first-person shooter VR games that multiple people can play together with avatars and being able to just, you know, shoot amongst us like Call of Duty all over again, but more advanced. Alright, let's do this again. I'll get it this time. It's pretty simple, it's just you have to multitask and get behind a rock while he shoots. Oh my god!
Initial data recovery complete. New holographic files are available to view. Playback. dust storm right on top of me here. I don't know what kind of wind speeds to expect, or it might be headed your way. But you should find shelter. Copy. But I'll be having dinner with the Pilgrim long before I have to worry about that. Are you okay? You went quiet. Come on, don't let me hang it. It's awful lonely out here. I... I'm not sure this is the right time to talk about. All right, look, you remember those batteries we found that were all depleted down to 1% power? Yeah. But one of those batteries to deplete all the way down to 1% takes about 30 years. Okay, so? So, it got me thinking, and I went outside and scraped some of the mold off of the outside of the half. Okay. Yeah. We're fine. Yeah, so I monitored its growth rate, and for the mold to have spread as far as it has would have taken about 30 years. What are you driving at? So, this is where it gets complicated. The Pilgrim was sucked through the wormhole about three seconds before us. But the batteries, the mold, they indicate the Pilgrim's been here for about 30 years. Eva, what I'm driving at is that I think every second on the other side of that wormhole is 10 years on this side. You see what I mean, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I... I get it. That makes sense. That explained the rations going rotten. But the honey's still good because Just, I wasn't sure. It's a theory. But if you do find anyone at the Pilgrim, they'll be 30 years older than when we left them. They might not have had enough supplies to last. The Pilgrim has plenty of supplies. Okay. Storm's wreaking havoc with the comms. What the hell was that? The window got hit. I patched it. I think it'll hold. Are you okay? I'm okay, yeah. Where? I mean, are you okay with what I said before? Of course. Getting pretty hectic now. Let's see where this turns out.
What the hell is that? Well, at least I know they're bad now. Are you seeing this? Yeah, but I don't believe it. There's no way this is from the Pilgrim. Eva, maybe you should get out of there. I guess... No. No, I'm going to find the Pilgrim. Cass. Scan for human remains. Scan him. Where is everybody? Scan complete. No results found.
precision rifle. The UEP precision rifle is a powerful and highly accurate rifle. It features semi-automatic fire with a three-round magazine. The advanced sight indicates when an enemy is targeted. Oh snap, it's pitch black in here. Scan all fragments. Unless you 
Wow, like, I couldn't even tell if I was getting hit or not. I mean, I'm hearing the deep breathing, but that's about it. Ugh. Looks like I'm almost done. Alright, let's keep going. I just killed myself in close range. Oh my gosh. Like, I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, wow.
Oh, I am so going to be a sniper on co-op. Okay, I didn't expect that. Alright, let's keep going. used to play it on his rounds. Never knew his name. Guess I never will. His name was Bruce. Hung out with him a few times. Nice guy. Him and his wife had seven kids. Can you believe that? Actually, no, I don't. Seven humans from one woman? <laughs> Poor her. She'll be raising them on her own now. Don't say that. Thank God. They must be inside. Partial data recovery complete. New holographic files are available to view. Playback. thing about these soil samples is that the microorganisms in here they have no clear evolutionary connection to one another it's like they're all from different ecosystems i mean they're as different from each other as they are from us god you could spend a lifetime here and still never totally scratch the surface can you please stop wasting time with that it's not relevant to us getting home it's not useful to our survival if we don't get out of here it doesn't matter how interesting this place is, no one will ever know. So at the very least, you should be cataloging rations, or maybe... Maybe... You know what? I'm being an asshole. I'm sorry. I've just been walking a really long time. It's okay. I get it. Definitely drew the short end of the straw. I'm usually pretty nice, I swear. Oh yeah? <laughs> I see it. I 
see the dome, the harder the pilgrim look. Woo! All right! Yeah. Okay. Not far to go. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get way out of here. Scan all fragments. I'm finally here. I'm in the heart of the pilgrim. You see any survivors? No, not yet. Hold on. Hello? Where are you guys? Grant, you should pack up your stuff and head out here. They'll probably want to get moving as soon as possible. Hello? They've got to be here. Even your oxygen reserves just hit 48%. Just hold on a second, okay? They're here somewhere. Crying out loud, I didn't even expect it to be on my head. Ugh. It's like I gotta keep moving, but we'll see. Or take him out fast.
all fragments. Look, if this is a joke, okay. Anyone? Space Station. This isn't funny. Doing this, okay? Just keep an eye on your monitors. This is the final batch. Okay, playback. something that could help us check it out artificial photosynthesis these babies use daylight to generate all the protein carbs and oxygen we need indefinitely i'm gonna go place these up on the ridge i'll be back home in a couple of hours don't call this home Outside without telling you. It's not safe. We're supposed to be a team. See, this is how they did it. 
There was no one at the Pilgrim when we got there because they already left. They repaired a shuttle and they left. And we're gonna do the same. Eva. We probably had more manpower, but if we... Eva! What? We need to talk. Come outside. Okay, what? Look up. That star. Its core is glowing like that because it's losing its hydrogen layer faster than the others. It's, it's actually completely unique behavior for a star. You recognize it? You know where we are. It's called Eulis 744. It's one of the farthest known stars from Earth. So if you know where we are, we can chart a course home, right? Yes. <laughs> But that also means that this planet is almost 800,000 light years from Earth. Even if you repaired a shuttle, without a wormhole to condense the distance, the journey back to Earth, it would... The journey would take... How long? Three billion years. If we made it back. The sun would have burnt out long ago. The earth would be ice. The human race would be gone. Then how do you suggest we get home? Maybe earth isn't home anymore. Maybe this is home. Away from me. This is Eva Tyson. Can you read me? Ms. Lauren, this is Eva Tyson. Can anyone read me? Not much, but I made you a birthday cake. Anyone? Please, someone must be out there. Say something? No. around your world pretty baby if it aching with some nameless need is there something wrong and you can't put your finger on it right then 
I'm gonna be your personal Delamitri jukebox. Just don't show it to me, it's a good one. <laughs> the truth hurts. And you told me it hurt me. That hasn't been really right because I hate it. I'm sorry, Grant. Can you please say something? It's a story, Mom. You don't think the story's a little bit stale for you? Mom! Okay. Well, the wormhole opened, and I swallowed the whole station. And me, and your dad, and the pilot, I think. Is that the person in the little ship? No, it's fine. The little ship? It swallowed us all.
What the hell do I do now? What the hell do I do? They're gone. Rifle. This alien weapon fires bursts of plasma and includes an integrated energy shield. After five bursts, the weapon will need to be reloaded. When active, the energy shield depletes over time and when damaged, but will recharge when it is deactivated.
Now it's getting intense. I'm liking it so far now, knowing the fact that I actually have to deal with aliens that shoots back instead of spiders. I like the change. waiting for you a long time but I will kill you if you mess with me my parents said you'd show up eventually you know who I am your grant and Eva's daughter always wanted to know what happened to the crew of the Pilgrim. And then it happened to them. And in a few hours, it's gonna happen to us, too. Every ten years, like clockwork, a wormhole opens up in the sky, and something comes through. A giant pillar from some other world. I don't know what it is or what it wants, but anything alive that gets into its light just disappears. It made my parents disappear. I've escaped it twice, but this time I've got you. My mom and dad, they, they didn't have enough time to repair a shuttle here, but I did. And you're gonna fly for me. Right through that wormhole. We're gonna get the hell out of here. And I get the feeling you wouldn't mind that at all. Yeah, you're right about that. Scavengers!
scavengers arrived a few years back. They pick everything apart and use the raw materials to build new machines and equipment. Not too friendly. I've been studying their technology. They use a kind of power core as their energy source. We're gonna need one of those power cores to launch our shuttle. Without a power core, we're grounded. You and me, we have to get one before the wormhole opens. I know just the place. I'm not waiting another ten years. is just up ahead. Come on, we have to hurry. You go that way. I'll cover you from above. I'll take care of the shield. Here we go. Oh my gosh, where am I supposed to hide?
Roger that. I'm on it.
Oh man, come on. My sniper wasn't doing anything. Keep going. I'll cut through this way. Meet you on the other side of the lake ahead. I gotta keep moving with this one. I can't sit still for two seconds. Keep going. I'll cut through this way. Meet you on the other side of the lake ahead. on it. I'm shutting down the shield. Get ready. There's no way around us. We gotta cut right through. After the strike, let's move. Can't be serious.
I need you to understand something. If we fail at this, I don't think I have another 10 years in me. So this, this needs to happen now. Okay? Let's go. Wait here. I'll take care of this. When I flip that switch, all hell's gonna break loose. Don't let me down. No promises. Hold on. I can open that door from here. Give me a minute. Still working on that door. Don't go anywhere. That should do it. Get ready. Keep moving. I'll be in for now.
you know, do I get to drive that too? That'd be great. I'm sorry, is that copying off the halo right there? Roger that.
Roger that. Moving up. Okay, that, that was a little BS, because I was trying to switch to a shotgun and it wouldn't let me. I'm on it.
Oh wow, now it's getting difficult. Now it's getting difficult. I'm on it. Working on it!
They're like constantly shooting rockets. My gosh. At least I'm almost there. Ah, uh, darn it, and this wants to die already. Come on, hurry up!
I'm on it. Good to go. We have left off. You're going to do as I say. Steer the shuttle towards the top of the pillar. We're not going to the wormhole. Do it now! Okay! All right. Thank you. She gone cray cray, that's all I could say. I should be flying off right now, leaving her behind. Get out of here! Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, so I'll leave. Come on, we gotta go. Believe me, survivors keep moving.
All right. I must say this was an actual interesting experience in first person shooter in VR for the PlayStation in general. Knowing you have to keep yourself in front of the camera at all times and that's technically what I did. I didn't use any rotations or anything, just kind of looked the direction and used the joystick. At least the credits wasn't too big compared to most. Oh, man. Okay, so I am definitely going to end it here, but like I said, this whole gameplay was awesome. The aim controller was awesome. Eventually I'm going to try cooperative, but I'm going to take a break and, you know, eat something. Kind of relax, probably watch some other people's stream. But if you enjoyed this, and if you, got it, if you sat through this whole thing, definitely uh, congrats to you. I must say, uh, we made it up to 800 subs. I'm actually happy to uh, see that results in the fact that I'm getting support for this channel. So I thank you guys for your guys' support. So if you want others to look at this gameplay in general, but not everything, just show them 
you can definitely share this video, I guarantee it. And hope to see you guys another time.